So we begin there with the, with the Daily Mail. Yes, they've got that, that headline, enough to make you sick. It's about the NHS. So a militant leader, I don't know if he has, he's actually armed with a Kalashnikov, yeah. of uh, England's junior doctors has gone on holiday just as his colleagues have launched a 96-hour strike. So junior doctors are going on strike. And it's actually, it's one of these strikes that's actually going to have a, a serious impact. Uh, people are going to, we are going to see uh, an excess in deaths uh, yeah. because of this. So it's, it's going it's to kill but people. But it's interesting you say because Lewis Schaefer in that very seat last night believed that this would expose the NHS for the fraud that it is. That right. it kills more people <laughs> no. than it saves. So we'll see. But, you know, the no, stats but, won't lie very I think, I think some public services, like the civil service go on strike, you yeah. know, nothing, nothing really happens because everything they do takes about, you know, 10 months to do anyway. Yeah. So, uh, they, but the, the junior doctor's right at the, right at the front line. Uh, but he's, he's being criticised for going on holiday, but isn't a holiday pretty much the same as a strike? And I like the way they call it a 96-hour strike, which does subtly suggest they would have otherwise been working straight through. That would be a shift <laughs> for a junior Well, doctor. someone would have been working because, as you said, hospitals kill people, so they're very busy yeah. destroying <laughs> lives and pulling families out. 96 around. hours is a... That's a fast. I think, I've, I've, I think you can attain that as a fast. Yeah. I can't think there's anything else you can do for 96 hours that anyone can do straight. Maybe uh, those Uber runs that they do in the desert. Right, yeah. yeah the, uh, no, not, not a good day for... Marathons. Not a good Uber day for... Uh, not how you do it. Not a good day for Uber runs, though, after no, that no. video from Rochdale. <laughs> so we're not... It's the story you want to be doing. Which is, yeah, we're not covering it for do some reason. Think, do you think the Daily Mail are, like, obviously just showing their own colours here, or is it is it irresponsible that this chap would go on holiday? It seems to me a slightly sort of... A bit of a tit bit rather well, it's than a good time story. to go on holiday, actually, because, you know, they're not working, so now's the time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So he's he's killing two birds. But I wonder if he's going somewhere and thinking about what he's done because, like you mm. said, what they're doing is really it's bad. For it's going to kill people. It's and they, be, they should have yeah. designed something that says that they're they're not allowed to strike. And you know we can reform the NHS. They can maybe get some more money. I mean, I don't think doctors are particularly underpaid. It's it's not when you're a junior doctor. It's like being an intern. So yeah. you're still in the learning well, learning phase. Very, the whole thing about the medical trade is it takes years and years. Yeah. And, I mean. They'd like seven year degree, isn't it? And then they keep learning inside the hospital. But it's 14 like, pounds an hour means more when you're living in Birmingham than it does when you're living here, although Birmingham is yeah. quite pricey. I'm not sure, they get either. London waiting as well. Yeah. 14 yeah. pounds an hour. Most possibly. of the other like uh, life or death situations, they draft the army in, don't they? The green goddesses and so Yeah, I'd like that to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Give them a go. Yeah. 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 Some field dressings. And the <laughs> CEO with his whole face painted green and orange. And Fantastic. I've, I've seen a lot of doctors posting their, uh, their pay slips on Twitter saying, oh, this is how little I take home after tax. It's like, yeah, welcome to my world. You know what I mean? Except my tax is going to pay your wages. There's a solution to all of this that they're maybe not seeing. I do think it's interesting. I mean, on the one hand, they are uh, looking for a 35% pay rise, which is absolutely absurd. Even yeah. as a bargaining position to begin with. On the other hand, they probably have noticed with Aslef and so on that being unionised and, and creating strikes is the only way to protect your job now. Yeah. Other people's jobs are just going. They're just being picked off like yeah, Sniper's Alley. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and this is you know this you is the one thing. You want to stay on the front page as much as possible. Yeah. What they're doing. Right? This is what comedians have failed to do throughout my entire career. <laughs> <laughs>